Women and Power, a conversation with Professor Dr. Barbara von Maybaum at thewisdomfactory.net, which has been founded by Heidi Hörnlein and Mark Davenport. This is part three of the whole conversation. If you want to watch it on video, please go to http colon slash slash bit.ly slash Barbara Maybaum number one. What would it take for women leaders not to be led like pretend men? <laughs> so what would we need yeah. to be able to to have? And he says, um, we have a woman UK prime minister who is demonstrating this at the moment. <laughs> so what would what? be needed that we can be in the feminine principles to lead? Well, I think uh, we have to broaden our perspective a little bit and to take a look at our society and our world present in the present time. And we see a complete imbalance. Uh, just mm -hmm. to take one, one field, um, sustainability. Mm -hmm. Sustainability is, a, if, you, if you might say so, it's a feminine principle. It's yes. not exploitation, but sustainability. Mm -hmm. Or if you take um, our school system, the school system is very much oriented towards mental skills and mental achievement, mm -hmm. which is the male one. The cognitive is more the male. But as we know, learning is dependent on whether you feel appreciated, whether you feel belonging to, whether you feel to be accepted, which is more the female one. Mm -hmm. Or if you take um, uh, the way how we treat the international relations. International relations, the so-called globalization, is an exploitation of the South yeah. Yeah. by the North. Exploitation is more the male principle, going back to the Bible, telling that we have to dominate the soil. Hmm? The female principle or the feminine principle would be to garden, yeah. to, go, to do the gardening, which mm -hmm. is in the Bible as well, but which is not that far in our consciousness, nor in, in the way how we treat the world. So the female principle would go for a different way of international relationship in the economic sphere. And so you can go on and question again and again what is needed in order to come to a, to a situation where the principles are better connected. Mm -hmm. And this can be done, of course, by men as well as by women. But there is one, there's one difference, there's one difference. Women have a different socialization mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's a very interesting differentiation which goes back to a colleague of mine, Elisabeth beck -Gansan. She says, men um, have a way to work which is in the Marxian terminology Tauschwert orientiert. It's, yeah, it's, it's exchange. exchange use. Mm -hmm. And the exchange use is that you get power, money, status, influence, top in the hierarchy, by the way, how you work. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So it's a hierarchical approach. Mm -hmm. The woman is brought up in a very different way, she has to take care of the use of her work. The a use. child, mm -hmm. the use. Mm -hmm. Gebrauchswertorientierung mm -hmm. in German. The value Marxian. of use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The value of use. 
It's again the Marxian terminology. Mm -hmm. So uh, the success of your work doesn't depend on money. If you want to feed your children, the children have to be fed. <laughs> and that's a big, big, big difference. Yes, indeed. Big difference. Yeah. So the care for the, for the well-being, the care for the creation, recreation, is much more embedded in the, in the female consciousness. And naturally, me. I would say, not only by upbringing, but because it is sort of our our principle, our innate uh, qualities. Yes. It's so, almost biological. Yeah. yeah, it's biological too. And of course, well, there there can be societies where it's not such a split between men and women and their socialization, but in our societies, it's still very much like this. Yeah. Do and you know so any any society? Uh, in former where, times, there has former. has been in former times. Yes, mm -hmm. indigenous people and in former okay. times, yeah. where it was different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we ha and, and I would say some men, the young the young generation of men starts to develop an idea and a notion of that it is very precious to take care of the children, to be with them, to, to realize how they grow up, uh, how they develop, and they enjoy it. Um, so there is a change, a certain change in the young generation, at least in a part of the young generation, uh, which might lead to a certain shift and to a better integration. I've gone 50% in that direction. I'm watching our cats and our dog <laughs> grow and develop good, in a way that well, I could the... not have appreciated years ago. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something very interesting you are mentioning because you are of a certain age, as we are, Heidi and me too. Yeah. And there is a researcher, Suki Corgrave which I uh, appreciate a lot. She wrote a book on yin and yang. Mm -hmm. But these are again the two principles. Mm -hmm. And she somehow says there's, a, there's a, the need, the notion and the wish, the longing of everyone of us to become whole. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is different from men and women. Normally from the hormones, now we are in bi biology. Mm -hmm. From the hormones, men start with the male side. And in their second age or third age, they develop more of their feminine powers. Yep. Mm -hmm. ah, you agree, I see. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the contrary, women start more from the feminine side, female feminine side and become more male in the second or third part of their life. You mean more decisive, more taking on uh, also uh, tasks in the, in the world, for instance? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. with more self-assurance, more self-confidence. Yeah. And mm -hmm. in the Western societies, we have something which is, I think, pretty, pretty problematic. Uh, due to the hormones, women try to avoid the menopause. And this stops on the hormone side, this development to become whole by becoming more male. Oh, uh, this is interesting, yeah. an interesting argument. Yeah, can you explain that a little? Uh, okay. Women? Yeah. Well, the, the hormones women take in order to remain young, mm -hmm. they somehow um, stop the maturization. Yeah. Okay. Which goes with the age normally and with mm -hmm. the change of the hormones. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, and I, yeah. and there's, there's, uh, there's a researcher, she said, it's, well, in, the, in, the, in this later age of women, it's the wisdom hormone mm -hmm. which starts to yeah. work. 
<laughs> I have heard about indigenous teachings who say only with, I think, 52, the woman is mature, is uh, become a crone before she was a, a teenager, sort of, <laughs> you know, in this, uh, seeing the ages in this way. So we, have, would... the, we have the three goddesses, you know, as well. There's a, in, the, in the archetypal symbols, we have three goddesses. We have the white goddess, the red, and the black. The white is the young, the uh, unschuldig, um, yeah. what is innocent. it? Innocent. Innocent. The innocent, the innocent one, the innovative one, full of energy. Mm -hmm. The red is the mother, and mm -hmm. in, in the middle of her life. And the black is the old, and is the wisdom, the rest representative of uh, wisdom. And uh, as well, this is another topic. As <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we, yeah. What we need is the reconciliation between daughters and mothers and grandmothers. Oh yeah. Oh. We Indeed. always start out. We yeah. don't want to become like our mothers, and so it's a sort of a rejection and not appreciation. But you know, yeah. I wanted to come back to to this. Uh, other topic so when we become male mas more masculine in in this what i call third half mm -hmm. of life but this is another way of masculinity <laughs> then these women we are talking about bring into the world by being so you know so successful in the in the male world by becoming even by increasing even the masculine energy in the world and being becoming a part of the problem, let's say, instead of a part of the solution. Do you see this as a difference? Yes, absolutely. Uh, women can be the worst enemies uh, with regard to innovation in relationships between people. Thanks for listening to Heidi, Mark and Barbara at thewisdomfactory.net. Find more interesting conversations recorded in the archive section and new live events on the events page of thewisdomfactory.net.